Hufflepuff. And they were they called Hufflepuff? That's one of them. What's the other one? Slytherin. Gryffindor. Three points to Gryffindor. Don't know what that's got to do with it. I don't know why I'm doing that. Don't know why I'm doing it. It's got absolutely nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this at all. So today on the show, we're going to be watching Pearl, which stars Eli Roth. No, Eli Roth's a direct. Eli Roth. Hoff. Hasselhoff. Goff. Mia Goff. The first movie came out last year by T West and it's called X. X Force. The movie that came out last year was like a slasher throwback to like the 70s kind of stuff. Yeah, T West and it was called X. X Force. Wolverine, Logan, Rogue, Thunder Woman, whatever it is. But this one is called Pearl and it's a prequel to X. X Force. They filmed this one back to back with the first movie, X. I'm not going to say it and X-Force. This one is, yeah, a prequel. So that's all I know about it. And I've seen a photo of Mia Goff. The only thing that's disappointing that I've not been too excited about this movie is that flipping Jenna Ortega's not in it, mate. She was in the first movie. She was in Scream and she's playing Wednesday Adams in Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, which is coming to Netflix, the Adams family. And I think she's amazing. I think she's just, I just think she's great. I think she's absolutely great. She reminds me of those kind of actresses like your Sigourney Weavers, your Sarah Connors, like your leading lady. And I really hope that she becomes a bigger part of Scream or another franchise like that. I just think she's fucking nuts, bruv. So this one stars Mia Goff and it's a prequel to X. I'm not gonna say it. That's what we're gonna be watching today. So without further ado, let's get into this. My name's Roman, this is Hit On Miss TV. Subscribe and all that. Let's do this. X-Force. <laughs> Little Lamb Productions. Insanely good intro music. Insanely good. It's got that grand scale feel of like them old movies from like the 50s. You know what I mean? Even the font. I mean, everyone goes crazy about her as an actress. I've, I think I've only seen X with her. It's difficult for me to say, so let's find out if she really is that good. Oh, hang on, wasn't she a dancer? And they mention it in the first one. She's German, I didn't know that. Hang on, is this the same house and the same barn? I think it is. One day you'll never see me again. Farm life may be it for you, but it sure ain't for me. I'm getting Dorothy vibes here, Wizard of Oz. One day the whole world's gonna know my name. You agree, don't you, Mary? Wouldn't it have been a treat if this was that movie that became The Wizard of Oz? Oh, what a treat that would be right now. A star. <laughs> She's a young dreamer, wasn't we all? What the heck? So she was psycho from young then. Ah, oh, the gator wasn't there an alligator in the film. X. Yeah. Take it. Just like Pennywise. She's nuts. I said 1950s. How wrong was I? Bloody 1918. <laughs> Says the Allies have taken control of France. But Mama, this can mean the end of the war. Do as I ask, Pearl. She's got very strict parents, by the sounds of things. Her mum just seems to order her around. He looks a bit like J.S. Sebastian. I think it is him, J.S. Sebastian, who was in, that's the, the character's name in Blade Runner. I think it's him. But one thing this war has made clear is that I cannot wait to return home and begin. Is that her man coming back? Pick up more medicine, which means I get stopped by the pictures. What's wrong with her dad then? What's wrong with him? The money for his medicine is on the kitchen table. Yeah, what's the deal with her mum? I'm... God forbid sickness returns to her. What the heck is up with her mum? She ain't nice, is she? It's very vibrant in colours, though, so far. Two bits, please. Liquid morphine. Oh, my God. That'll knock her dad out something chronic. Could you imagine how insane it must have been back then to actually walk into a theatre and see films like it was a new thing? She's getting out of her nuts, she's drinking morphine. She's a bit of a rebel as well then, isn't she? Father's infirm, so I have to help at home. I'm sorry to hear that. You wanna come watch the second show? I need to get going. Who does she remind me of? She really reminds me of someone that used to be in movies. Uh, when I was younger, I can't picture who it is. 
It's all sort of um, sweet and nice and thoughtful at the moment, but you can feel an underlining tone of like dread and darkness. Don't think it would have gone that far, love. Jesus Christ. Just the blimmin' crows, you idiot. Jeepers Creepers too, Or the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. And why would you wanna do that? She's definitely a different one, isn't she? I think she's crazy. <laughs> okay, bit creepy now. Yeah, she's seeing things. I'm married! Girl's mad. Darling, that's a scarecrow. Yo, this is a bit weird, mate. Right, well, she's just done it with a scarecrow, so she's definitely tapped in the head, mate. Tapped. That whole thing about, you know, I said earlier on about being a youngster, wanting to the big wide world and that. Nah, she's tapped. What's she doing? She's a bit sadistic, isn't she? He's still in there. She's really creepy. She's really creepy. What's she doing? Zetzti. Yo, her mum's mad strict, isn't she? And dein Vater und ich haben keinen Schwächling erzogen. I can see, you know, it's a time of war, it's a different time. You know, you can kind of see where she's coming from a little bit. I don't think we can probably appreciate the sort of uh, distress and worry and life it must have been like living then anyway. I wouldn't like to have been around then. They're putting together a troop and we'll be touring seven different cities before the year ends. We should go together then. It's really bugging me who she reminds me of. Saturday at 11. Okay. So if she's going to sneak off and do like a, a dancing thing, well, that's all going to go up the wall. Dreams of the big escape. What did you all want to be when you were little? Astronaut? I think mine was probably a police officer. I always wanted to be a police officer, but I never did it. Because I was a naughty boy. Uh-oh. Is she nicking some of her mum's clothes again? There's a lot of sneaking around in this family, isn't there? Well, I didn't expect to see you again this soon. It's got amazing music and everything. Like, I love everything about the way this movie is shot. It's very different to what we normally see in modern cinema. I've never really danced in front of anyone before. What if I'm not perfect? You can do anything if you want it bad enough. I want it. She's got no self-belief then, has she? Like a completely crushed young woman. I picked this one up while I was in the service in France. I have a bad feeling about this for some reason. What is this? Just watch. Is this what I think it is? I think this is what I think it is. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's a creep, ain't he? Is it legal? No. I don't like reality. I don't like him. You only get one take at this life. You don't get a second chance. I do agree with some of the stuff he's saying, but he is still a creep. Who meets a girl and then goes, let's show you some adult stuff. That's just a bit weird, mate. She weren't impressed with your naughty movie, mate. The arts are so much more alive in Europe. You can be whoever you want to be there. Really? You could even be in pictures like this. She's so gullible and sweet, isn't she? She's just going to get so corrupted. Thank you. And what for? For seeing me tonight. Okay, I thought he was gonna try something. I had a, like, you know what I mean? Like an uneasy feeling around him. Maybe it's just me. Her mum's crying as the dad passed away. This is so excellently shot, man. It really, it's, it's just, it builds tension without having to do anything just by the way that it's filmed. Oh no, he's still alive. Maybe the mum's just sad. She's just really stressed out of all the all the life she's living, really. Oh no. She's not gonna, is she? Nah. 
Nah, she won't. Are you kidding me? I'm leaving soon. This is making me uncomfortable, don't you dare. Look, if she does this, I've got no love for her, mate. What are you doing? I'm gonna feed Daddy to the alligator. We need to get him back to the house. Why do you hate me, Mum? I think she was gonna do it, you know? I think she was gonna throw him to the alligator. Yo, there's being friends with an alligator and then there's getting too close. Don't get too close. Is that an alligator egg? Is that what she just stole? She's nuts. What the hell, bruv? Who does that? So mum's been going through her stuff. Mums know everything. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Why? Because she wants to get enough way out of here, mate. She wants, she's had enough. How is it you find our life so beneath you? You've always had a wolf over your head. Yes, I do agree, but she still needs to have her own life. But I have to know that I tried, or I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. I've seen the things you've done in private. She's just mean. They will notice eventually, and they will be frightened, just as I am. Oh, she's frightened of her. Because they know she's a bit mad. You dare sit there and talk to me about regrets. I was supposed to be his wife. She blames her. Like, well, it's not her fault. Perhaps I should kill him for you. That way you don't have to care for him any longer. I can see where she gets it from. I feel sorry for this guy. <laughs> I want you to remember what it feels like. Because that's how I feel every time I look at you. Oh, wow. You horrible woman. <laughs> oh, slap fight. <laughs> Mummy's on fire. Oh my god! <laughs> well, Mummy had it coming, let's be honest. Oh, she looks bad, really burnt. Oh, look how bad she is. He looks afraid. What? So she just, did she just dash her mum in the basement and leave? With mum watching. Oh my god, look at her face. Flipping heck. You forgot this last time. I'm glad you came back. Your magic hat. Let me at least drive it home. Drive her home? What the hell's gonna be at her home? That's what I wanna know. <gasps> her husband? So surely the dad's still going to be in the same place and so is the mum. Like she just left her mum. My guy's still there, that is so sad. Oh, that is so awful. I'm going to get you cleaned up real soon, okay? I just have a guess right now. This is a bit much, mate. He don't deserve to be treated like this, man. He's just a dude. Uh. Yeah, that's a sign that something ain't right, ain't it, my guy? This is my father. Pleased to meet you, sir. Want me go up to my bedroom now? Look at him dribbling and all sorts, man. My guy's like, yeah, I don't want no part of this, mate. What was that? Nothing. It's probably mummy in the basement kicking. Whatever that is, we can't just ignore it. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Uh, yeah, there is. You're psycho. Unless that was her husband on the road. And he's knocking. No, it's mummy in the basement. He's putting two and two together. The thing outside, the corn on the floor. Daddy's messed up. Get out of there, mate. It's her dog. 
She made a mess in the kitchen while I was away, so I put her in the root cellar. No, it's your mum. This is Francis. They're my best audience. Yeah, I know what he's thinking. I need to get out of here. Alarm bells. We that look on his face animals. is that you're f nuts. What about your dog? We don't have a dog. But you just said you did. You uh, did in the cellar. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, it's not a dog, it's my mum. Oh, I gotta go and screen the matinee, you know? But you gotta practice, remember? Now's not the time to be resting on your laurels, is it? He's getting the heck out of there, I don't blame him. Did I do something wrong? No. Then why did you just go cold on me? Cause you're mad! What did you see? I didn't see anything. You're lying. She's scary. I know, cause I feel things very deeply. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. I wish you the best luck with your audition. Man, she flips and goes crazy. She's going to attack him, isn't she? Are you kidding me? She is. She's going to kill him. Behind you, mate. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's nuts, bruv. I think he's dead, darling. I think you killed him. Oh, my days. Is it her time of the month? Let's get you cleaned up. Yeah, my guy's like, just, just, just give me the whole bottle of morphine. Just give me the whole lot. I want out of this. I don't, you know, your mum's nuts, your nuts. I want out of this. Yeah, no wonder he's petrified. His daughter's a psychopath. I wish he wouldn't look at me like that. There's nothing he can do. Like he's paralyzed and his daughter's a psychopath. Don't she scrub up well for a serial killer? There's a great performance from him because he's not even, because he can't talk and it's all in his eyes. Is she gonna suffocate him? Oh my God. Au revoir, poor Johnny. Au revoir. Yeah, be cautious of women, fellas. Be cautious of them. And now the alligator's gonna eat him. Jesus. Well, if it's not me, then I hope it's you. Right? It has to be me. Wow. Stiff competition. Oh, I guess that girl didn't get a part. Next. I wonder what the heck's gonna happen in this audition. Switch, before they open the doors again. Thank you. You're a good friend. Yeah, she's also an absolute nutcase, mate. Sister and laws have to stick together, right? <laughs> she's terrifying. Time to show them what you can do. I'm gonna show them all. Here we go, it's audition time. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. This is it, make or break. <sighs> this is great. She's horrifying. Is this all like, obviously all fantasy again and dreaming again, it's her mind. She's crazy, bruv. Thank you, but it's gonna be a no. Oh dear. Is she gonna lose it? Sorry, it's just not what we had in mind. She's gonna go nuts. If we're looking for something different today, all American, younger and blonde. Oh dear. I don't want to be them right now. I'm scared for them. You don't understand I need this. Next in line, please. I can make it better. Come on. She's crazy. She's going to kill them all. This is like watching the X Factor, isn't it? Please, I'm a star! She's psycho, bruv. <laughs> she is mental, like cuckoo mental. Oh shit, Blondie is going to get it, isn't she? They're going to have given it to her. They said young, blonde, something a bit different. <laughs> it's a bit much, isn't it? Oh my God, that is horrible. That make that, it's disgusting. Get off the screen, bruv. I don't want to see that, piglet. And they're just keeping it on there. There's something wrong with you, T-West. Something wrong with you, mate. I'm not looking. I'm waiting till it goes. It's still on there. 
Yep, that's your pig. They didn't eat it, but she did kill everyone. And now she's going to kill you. Come on, Pearl. What's really the matter? I killed my mum, I killed my dad, and I killed this geezer I was banging. You're not coming down with someone, are you? No, it's nothing like that. Oh, thank goodness. Mentally unwell. I'm worried there may be something real wrong with me, Mitzi. How do you mean? I mean, like, I like to kill people and kill geese. It's just, just my thing. And you just say whatever's on your mind. Go on, get it all out. Really? <laughs> You're going to regret this. What have you done? What else have you done, Pearl? Oh, should should have asked that. Whenever I see others whose lives come easy, because the truth is I'm not really a good person. No, she's not a good person, is she? You were my ticket out. I made sure to never let you see who I really was. An absolute nutter. How could you be so selfish and cruel after all I've done to make you happy? I was even pregnant with your baby. Oh, she was pregnant. How could I be responsible for another life? Life terrifies me. Oh my goodness. This is dark, man. I'm not pretty or naturally pleasant or friendly. I'm not smart or funny or confident. This is a really, really, really like great performance, but my God, it's so morbid. I wish I didn't, but I did. First, it was only animals smaller than myself. Now she's talking about killing. Oh my God. Killing's easier than you think. Till recently, the mom and the boy from the picture house, they were different. She's confessing that she's killed, her, killed people. There's no way Blondie's gonna get away now. I don't know how much more it can take. I need to clean this up. Well, good luck with that, you mad. I can forgive. I can be who you want me to be. If you'll just stay with me. All in one camera shot as well, this is. And it's bloody impressive. Just you and me here on this farm. All I really want is to be loved. You could say that, but you're pretty messed up in the head. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what the hell do I do? She's going to kill her. I should probably get going now. She ain't going nowhere. Oh, God, she's going to attack her. Are you frightened of me? No. Do you think I'm sick? Yeah, I do. I think you've got mental health problems, mate. Thank you. Now she's going to kill her. In dance troop, you deserved it. I didn't get the part. It's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't lie to me. Did she get it? You. Now she's gonna kill her. Hope you can come see this show sometime. Oh. You're gonna say anything, are you? She's gonna switch, I told you. I'm just waiting for her to flip. Here she goes, she's gonna do something. It's gonna be like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. She's just gonna come out and... <laughs> I told you. Oh shit. She's getting the rake again. Are you serious, bruv? It's got an axe. <coughs> You're not running fast considering it's your life on the line. Here we go, here we go. Oh my God. Oh, this is a bit much. You're not gonna make it, love. You ain't making it to the end of the movie. Bye. You know, I feel really sorry for. I feel really sorry for her dad. Like, that guy got the short end of the straw, mate, or the short end of the stick. Oh my God, you see that? Uh, she's feeding the crocodile everything. She's just carrying on like nothing happened. Uh, she's cooked, I brought in the pig that's all been eaten by maggots. What are you doing? Is that all in her head again? She's nuts. Pearl, you got problems, darling. I can't keep looking at that pig, it's, it's yuck. So her husband did make it back then. Well, we knew that anyway, right? Pearl? Oh, sugar me. Welcome home, buddy. Uh. I'm so happy you're home. I ain't run, mate.
She's terrifying. Oh my god, she's just terrifying, mate. That is such a haunting finish. X-Force. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that was T West. The movie was Pearl. What did I think of it? I thought that was an absolutely brilliant movie. I thought that was an absolutely fantastic film. Let's get through it in a little bit of detail. Number one, let's go through like the cinematography, the clothes, the music, the theme song was outstanding. I loved the colors. It was so vibrant in its colors. And I said it was like the 1950s, but it weren't, it was 1918. I actually gonna go as far as saying is I think that's a better movie than X. It is. It's a better movie than X. X is more of a traditional type Texas Chainsaw Massacre type vibe of horror. Like you know kind of it's gonna go a bit crazy and it does at the end. This one doesn't play into that formula. You don't really see many movies like this anymore not done like this with this kind of budget and I thought that was a really really good movie. I think the movie shows the result of being treated poorly by family by feeling unloved, by feeling unwanted. And it doesn't it doesn't warrant what she does in the movie. It explains it, the depraved life that she lived. It was just awful. That thing symbolizing with the pig and it's getting more and more rotten as the movie goes on was just making me feel sick. Mia Goff's performance in this was incredible. Compared to, as I say, compared to X, because it was a larger cast, she was in it and she was a main character in it, but this really, really gave her time on screen and she's a really really good actress much better than I thought and I would love to see her well now after seeing that X I mean I liked X and Jenna Ortega was the one that stood out in that for me and I've watched all of her movies now I'm going to be checking out all of Mia Goff's stuff because that was just an incredible performance and that ending with the credits and just holding it it's terrifying. It's a really, really great performance by her. I don't know what to say. I'd highly recommend this movie. For those that have not seen it, I'd 100% recommend this. It's very different from X. Be aware when you watch this, it's more psychological. It's not really a slasher movie. It's more the, the breakdown of a person's psyche and how they become this character. And she was just outstanding. I'm, I'm really lost for words. Really great performance. I'd probably give this seven or eight out of ten probably no i'd say what's a right fair result i'd say probably a seven yeah probably a seven out of ten it's a really good thriller stroke horror and brilliant performances if you're into horror movies i think this is a movie now that everyone should watch because it's just so well made i can't really fault much in the movie i really can't fault much in it i've, I've just really enjoyed it i could have watched another hour of her performing it was that good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back again tomorrow night for another movie. I think we're going to try and watch Slayers tomorrow night, which is a brand new one as well. And don't forget, later on in the week, we're going to be covering, hopefully, a new movie called The Layer, Terrifier 2. What's the other one? There's another one that's coming out. Barbarian, that's it, Barbarian, on HBO Max. So I'll be doing that as well during the week. So we've got a lot more content coming up. We've done Hellraiser and all of those on the channel this month. So if you like your horror movies, check out the channel and watch some more movies. I'll see you guys again tomorrow night. My name's Ramon, this is Hit or Miss TV. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.